Good morning, everyone. Welcome to company meeting. We just wanted to go share our icebreakers for the week. So let's go, let me go pop up Slack here. All right, let's go down the down the list. April. I have been taking Spanish for a long time. This is my big win because everything I do, I just do for a while, you know, like I'm getting better at tennis, take getting better at Spanish, but I got a certificate of achievement because I hit a milestone. So I was able to share that. 160 hours. All right. All right. Congratulations. Pietro. Taco night with Gabriella, uh, a couple of her friends and my cousin. Uh, though I mostly have burritos. I, those taco chips, they come mostly broken. So mm -hmm. I give mine away to Gabriella and uh, I love burritos uh, much more. Much more. I, uh, I love the Corona in the hand. It's a very nice product placement yeah. right there with the taco yeah, shells. Yeah. yeah, that was the props department. Very nice. All right. Tanme, hey. Sun, England. What are you talking yeah, about? I, I think I spoke too soon. It's really gloomy today. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people just go crazy in this place for the sun. I mean, personally, this is the first time I went and just lied in a park because the sun came out. <laughs> That's a great photo. Where was that taken? Ah, uh, just nearby. Some of some, some of our friends got together. Very cool. I like it. All right, uh, Dan. So we had this huge air show in the town next door over the weekend. Uh, took the kids, saw some really cool uh, World War II fighter planes and um, some modern stuff. Um, like there were some F thirty fives, but um, everybody's seen photos of airplanes. So I thought this one was better. We took them out for ice cream after the air show. They were probably more excited as well. Oh, yeah. There is a human in the hole, and I just I realized that. <laughs> I know. It's not a very large hole to, you know, have your face poking through. Yeah, perfect for a four-year-old. <laughs> That's great. All right, Akande. Yeah, I'll be moving to a new apartment in June, so I'm preparing I. So I just got this new bed. It's a very well-made bed, by the way. That's like, you know, like, you know, hotel room level bed making. It's very good. I approve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, this is me and my mom. Uh, we were just up in a Dan's backyard in Portland and visiting the uh, Portland Japanese Garden, which is supposedly the, the most authentic recreation of a Japanese garden in the United States. Um, super fun. She's so, so yeah. Cute. She's 86. She's, this is this is probably her last trip. She said she she when my dad passed away, she um, turned into this a travel fiend. Like, and she finally at 82, I think, realized that she's not gonna she wasn't gonna make it to Antarctica. So she crossed that one off the list. But she's hit every other continent and and many countries around the world. Jihan. Yes, yeah, so we were in New York last week and we visited the Met for the first time. We didn't even get through half of it because it's so large, but it was by far one of the best museums you've ever been to. You know, yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm in a different era there completely. Wow. Galen. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of stand-up comedy and Austin has become a booming city for that. Um, I finally got to go to Mothership, which it's very hard to get tickets because they go on sale at 2 p.m. and then the race is on till I get them in and my buddy was actually able to get them. So really fun time. That's awesome. All right, Lauren, going out in the town. Yeah, uh, we went to New York last weekend to go back home. Uh, we had my childhood friend's wedding, so that was really fun. And it was between this photo or posting a photo of dumplings because, you know, I have to get my favorite dumplings every time I go, but this <laughs> one won out. <laughs> That's good choice. Good choice. We like the dumpling photos though as well. Is Puff on or is he still a dentist? All right, he's in the dentist chair, but I'm like incredibly jealous of this room. Like this is his, for those of you who don't know, this is Puff's secret um, uh, whiskey slash music slash, you know, workroom. So you go through the, there's a shelf on his second floor and you like hit some magic button and open it up into this room. So um, uh, very, very fun. Kind of represents his personality very well. All right, Lauren, I, I need something for scale. This looks like a like an eight inch round piece of sushi. Hmm? It's as It was as big as my hand. Oh my <laughs> so I'm like holding the clamshell in my hand, but I found a new sushi spot and there's two places. There's one right next to my doctor, which I'm at all the time and one right next to my house and I'm obsessed. They already know my name, so I'm so happy. That's crazy. And yeah, caviar. Yeah, like, that was that? tuna tartare. Yeah, that, I, tuna tartare is like my favorite food, and that was 
that was my lunch the other day and it was just everything that's a meal looks gorgeous yes it's like little little tempura chips on it at tempura flakes in between the tuna and the avocado (sighs) yeah little crunch so good I know. I'm I'm getting hungry right now. All right. Well, thank you all.